Welcome back everyone to WWE 2K15 Raw. And continuing the best of five series, we have Rick Rude and Dolph Ziggler taking on the Patriots. Welcome to Raw, everyone. We are live from Seattle, Washington. And Rick Rude and Dolph Ziggler are on, a, are on their way to the ring to try to catch up with the Patriots as they are down 0-1 to one in the best of five series. This new, these two newly formed tag teams are trying to compete for supremacy here on Raw. And it should be an interesting contest to see him go at it one more time. Last week, Jack Swagger and JBL, along with their manager Zeb Coulter, pulled it together and picked up the win in the first of the best of five series. With only two more victories to pick up, can the Patriots close the gap a little further this week? Ziggler and Rude will certainly be up to the challenge as they do not want to be outdone in their first outing as a tag team. What a hard fought matchup this should be. And there's the bell as these two amateur greats go at it, Ziggler and Swagger. And look at Swagger, started right off with an amateur wrestle and slam there. Scooped Ziggler right up and drove him into the mat. Upcoming this Saturday, of course, right here on Twitch is the Royal Rumble. Should be an amazing pay-per-view. We have the 30-man battle royal. Uh, and The Undertaker defend, uh, challenges John Cena for the WWE Championship. And many more matches, all this Saturday, live here on Twitch. And Dolph Ziggler now taking Jack Swagger to task with the DDT. Upcoming today, though, on Raw, we have AJ Lee putting the Divas Championship on the line against Summer Rae. And Ziggler snaps off the neck breaker here. Uh, Jack Swagger rip, oh, turns things around here. German suplex to Dolph. And now he tags in former WWE Champion. John Bradshaw Layfield. AJBL with a massive backbreaker rocks Ziggler. And a well placed elbow follows it. Also tonight, Stone Cold Steve Austin takes on the man who defeated the United States Champion Seth Rollins last week when he takes on Curtis Axel. And Ziggler now looking for a submission here as a camel clutch locked in. Will JBL tap out? JBL, history of uh, back injuries. Really taking a JBL since being tagged in here. And there's a well uh, well placed elbow of his own. JBL fights his way back up to his feet here. But he looks like he's locked into su a suplex position. And beautiful technique by Rick Rude. Former Intercontinental Champion in his own right goes for the cover here. Referee kind of slow to the cover. Barely gets a one count. And this time Rick Rude snaps off the suplex. Gotta believe both of these teams are keeping a close eye on the upcoming tag team title match between the New Day and uh, the Grapplers, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I'm sure they'd love to get a shot at the, whoever wins that match. Uh, especially after we see who comes out on top of this uh, best of five series. 
So match two in the best of five series going on right now. Who will take, will the, uh, will the team of Rude and Ziggler even it up? Or will the Patriots further their lead? Also tonight here on Raw we have the Macho Man is back trying to do his best against the Wyatt family. Uh, unfortunately racked up a couple losses to Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. But he's going right to the top of the heap. Macho Man Randy Savage challenges Bray Wyatt tonight on Raw. And Jack Swagger just kicks out. And Rick Root keeping the pressure on. Got Swagger in the ropes here. And look at that pile driver by Rick Root. And that leaves Swagger in a terrible position. Into the cover now. Whoa, and I'm very surprised JBL didn't try to make the save there. That was almost a three. And you see Swagger trying to make the tag, to, uh, trying to tag his partner in there, but cut off by Rick Rude. And look at that. Great ring positioning by Rick Rude. Clips the leg while Swagger's still in, his, in uh, Rude's corner. And now it's all on Ziggler and Rude to put Swagger away. But Rude can't stop him in time, and JBL is back in. And they're going to try to do the same thing to JBL here, but I don't know if it's going to work out quite so easy. JBL with the reversal in the corner. And there's a short arm clothesline. Shades of the clothesline from hell. Although not quite as final as the clothesline from hell. Huge gut buster by JBL. Now look at this JBL. Devastating power bomb plants ravishing Rick Rude in the mat, but he is in terrible ring positioning here. Ziggler barely has to come in to break it up. And now Rude makes the tag back to Ziggler, and Ziggler's back in. JBL down on the mat. Can Ziggler take advantage here and finish off JBL? Locks him up. Reverse suplex. And Ziggler and Rude are rolling here. Have a lot of momentum going into the end of this match here. And but JBL trying to cut him off with a pendulum backbreaker. And will JBL go after Swagger? Try to get Swagger back in. No, nope, he's content to stay in there and fight Ziggler. As he slams him down into the mat. JBL with a very lax cover. Not going to defeat the show off quite that easily. And there's another backbreaker. How much more can Ziggler take? And only in one count. JBL swinging neckbreaker to Ziggler. And you can tell Ziggler's feeling the pain after all this assault. And there's a hot tag to Swagger. Ziggler's back up and knocked right back down. And there's one for Rude as well. And Swagger is rolling here. Can he put Ziggler away? Scoops him up. Ziggler reverses the suplex. Takes JBL off the apron. What does Ziggler have in mind? Not much as Swagger hits the suplex. And into the cover, but feet are way under the rope. Jack Swagger not paying attention in the slightest. And Ziggler takes Swagger for the ride now. B 
beautiful flip neck breaker by Dolph Ziggler. And he's definitely trying to line Swagger up for the zigzag. Sends Swagger into the ropes, but Swagger reverses into the cradle. But Rick Rude right there to break it up. And even the referee caught some of that action. Beautiful drop kick by Dolph. And there's the sleeper by Ziggler. Will that be enough here? Zeb Coulter up on the apron trying to distract the referee. And Swagger was tapping. And the referee didn't see a damn thing. Ziggler and Rude robbed here. Great managerial work by Zeb Coulter. And there you saw the clothesline from hell just demolished Ravishing Rick Rude. And this could be another win for the Patriots here. Ziggler back in. But Rude's hand was under the ropes. A lot of these guys are very anxious to pick up a victory, not paying attention to ring positioning. Another clothesline by Rude puts JBL down, and Zeb is back up on the apron, distracting the referee. It can't be too long before Zeb gets tossed out of here. DDT by Ravishing Rick Rude. Into the cover of his own now. One, two, and Swagger just makes it in the very nick of time. JBL now into the cover. What an amazing back and forth matchup to kick off Raw here. All these men tough as nails and showing it in this tag team matchup. Match number two in a best of five series between these two brand new tag teams. And look at that knee to the gut by Rick Rude. And what does Rude have in mind now? A pile driver for JBL as well. And will this be it? And oh my goodness, Zeb Coulter up on the apron again. How much? How many times is the referee going to let Coulter get up on the apron and disrupt this matchup? And that is it. Coulter is out of here. And it's about damn time. Not that, all, not that all the men in this match are angels by any means, but holy cannoli. Rude with the cover. And the victory. And they even things up in the best of five series. And how uh, convenient that it's not one minute after Zeb Coulter is escorted from ringside. Let's take a look at some highlights here. Uh, Rude thought he had the match one here. Went for the pin on Jack Swagger. You can see the hand right across the face. Didn't get the job done though. Vicious pal driver rock Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger not even knowing where he is. Goes for the cover but somehow found a way to kick out. And then it was JBL's turn and he got dropped right on his head and neck. And that had to devastate JBL. But even JBL found a way out of it. But then, Coulter uh, evacuated from ringside. Rude hits the backbreaker and picks up the victory for him and Ziggler. And now things are all tied up. 1-1. The Patriots for Ziggler and Rude. Can't wait to see what happens between these two teams next week. Uh, what a great series so far. And what a great pair of new tag teams right here on Raw. And Cody Rhodes, after a month of being not heard from at all, has chosen Goldust's uh, opponent for the Gold Rush Challenge here tonight. Now, for those of you who uh, don't remember, Goldust actually turned his back on Cody Rhodes in a tag team matchup on main event and left him to be beaten down by Batista and Curtis Axel. Uh, since then, Goldust has started the Gold Rush Challenge, where he's challenged former United States champions in an attempt to become the number one contender. But unfortunately for Goldust, he's come up extremely short, losing matches to not only Santino, but the current WWE champion, John Cena, as well. Tonight, although Cody Rhodes is still injured, he has hand-picked Goldust's opponent. And uh, even we are not privy to who it is, it should be a very interesting choice from the former tag team champion. Let's see who Cody Rhodes chose as Goldust's opponent. 
I'm getting word from the back that this gentleman's name is Stardust. And no wonder Cody Rhodes chose this man. He dresses and appears to look just like, almost just like Goldust. Right down to the taunts. Well, this should be an interesting matchup nonetheless. And where in the hell did Cody Rhodes find this guy at? Look at the even using Goldust Titantron. This is extremely bizarre. What well, should make for a hell of a matchup. These two bizarre superstars lock up now. Goldust taking advantage. This is part of Goldust uh, Gold Rush Challenge. As he gets a hammerlock on this Stardust character. Ah, look at that beautiful takedown by this man. I didn't think we'd ever see someone like Goldust, but as you can see, Stardust is a very similar appearance to Goldust. And again, you have to wonder, where did Cody Rhodes find this individual? Nice Russian leg sweep by Stardust. And Goldust tries to create some space here. Side headlock into the Bulldog. Shades of Goldust himself. Oh, vicious knee to the gut, though. Stardust reverses the Irish whip, sends Goldust into the corner. But Goldust avoids the corner dropkick and blasts Stardust right in the side of the head. Float over and a swing and neck breaker and a great rustle in here from this new superstar, Stardust. Now look at this, applying the submission to Goldust here. But Goldust survives. And Goldust drops a vicious elbow into the face of this masked Stardust. Nice neck breaker by Stardust takes Goldust down. These two are very evenly matched. A great choice by Cody Rhodes. Wh wherever he found this Stardust character, he picked a good one for Goldust right here on Raw. And Goldust starting to gain momentum now. Drops another elbow into the face of this Stardust character. And look at that suplex. Devastating. And there's another running bulldog and Stardust trying to get back in this one. Stardust looked like he was ready to use the announce table here. I don't know if he's going to get a chance to now that Goldust has followed him out here. Falling reverse DDT on the outside, and that has got to just completely set Goldust off his track here. Head crashing into the floor below. Look at this, Stardust scoops Goldust up. Oh, Alabama slam rocks Goldust. And into the cover now. And now, oh my god, Goldust was almost defeated by a brand new superstar. 
And Goldust Gold Rush Challenge is going very badly thus far. Two losses, and he's not doing particularly great in this match either. Goldust, now look at this, hits the curtain call on Stardust, and is it his, will this be it here? And oh my goodness, Stardust survived the curtain call. And that has to be very demoralizing for Goldust, that's one of his legendary finishing maneuvers. And my god, Suplex just, uh, Goldust just suplexed Stardust right into the ropes, his feet got caught on the ropes dropping him head first on the mat. But wait a minute. Oh my goodness, we've seen that before. That's the crossroads. But Goldust is in the ropes. And I'm starting to think that may not be a hand-picked superstar under that star mask. And Stardust drops the knee on Goldust. And he's got him scooped up one more time. The Alabama Slam. Into the cover now. And Stardust has defeated Goldust. And the Gold Rush Challenge continues to be a bane for Goldust. Let's take a look here. There's the first Alabama Slam. We thought that might be it. A very vicious maneuver in its own right. But Goldust survived. Then you see a nice suplex into a float over pin here by Stardust. And Goldust hang on one more time. Goldust fought his way back, hit his, one of his main finishing maneuvers, the curtain call, but it wasn't enough until Stardust hit one more Alabama slam to pick up a huge victory in his debut match here on Raw. But after a couple things we've seen in this, I think Cody Rhodes is gonna have some explaining to do because we've seen some very familiar maneuvers from this alleged Stardust. What a bizarre looking individual, but do we know the man under the mask? We'll have to answer that question another time. And the ma Macho Man tries to continue his war against the Wyatt family, but he is just simply outnumbered. Uh, took tough losses to both Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. But tonight, he's going right to the top of the list. The Macho Man challenges the leader of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, right here on Raw. Can the Macho Man get back on track and pick up a huge victory? The Wyatt family has recently uh, defeated the Authority in a best of five series, so they are very much on top of their game. And the Macho Man is going to have to be two to keep up. Bray Wyatt just getting out of a feud with the Authority. They won a best of five series and lost a tough six-man tag elimination. But they're still very much uh, on top of their game. They have a lot of momentum. 
And you gotta think Bray Wyatt has to be a top choice to win this Saturday's Royal Rumble and earn a championship match headed into WrestleMania. But tonight, he faces one of the all-time legends in the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And there's the bell as this unique matchup kicks off. The Macho Man grabs a headlock on Ray Wyatt. Wyatt sends him off the ropes and a flying mare by the Macho Man. They lock back up. This time Wyatt with wrist control. Macho Man reverses, grabs a wrist lock of his own. And another reversal by Wyatt and then brings the arm uh, crashing down onto Macho's. Oh, and look at that clubbing blow, this time to the back of the head. But Macho Man snaps a flying neck breaker. We'll have to dub that one the Slim Jim Neckbreaker because he snapped it right off. Out of the corner. And Wyatt with that elevated spine buster. Sends Macho Man's spine first into the mat. But the Macho Man fights him off. Wyatt avoids the strike and a slap right to the face of the Macho Man. I don't know if that's a good idea. And a big back body drop and Bray Wyatt is firmly in control here. Flying neck rigger again takes Wyatt down. And now a beautiful drop kick, and the Macho Man is rolling. Spinning neck breaker now. Macho Man focusing a lot of his attacks on the head of Bray Wyatt, trying to daze this monstrous opponent. But look at that. Wyatt just clobbers Macho Man with the crossbody block. And now choking the Macho Man. And Macho Man again relying heavily on the flying neckbreaker here. Seems to catch Wyatt off guard. Doesn't really expect to see it coming. But why now? Oh no. Pump handle. Slam to the Macho Man. And a nice belly to belly takes Macho over. And oh no, this is not good to standing near Nagi by Bray Wyatt. And that could be the end right there. No, Macho Man holds on. One of Bray Wyatt's favorite maneuvers at uh, standing rock bottom. And oh no, he snatches Macho Man and the sister Abigail. And he delivers it. And Macho Man's hand was under the rope, so Macho Man survives this match a little while longer. Drop kick to Bray Wyatt. Big right hand. Another one blocked, answered by Wyatt. And a big left now. And Macho Man answers with the knee. What a fight between these two amazing superstars. And there's a hard punch to the head by Wyatt. And what does he have in mind here? Oh no, oh no. Suplex right on the edge of the ring. And that has to devastate the Macho Man. How could it not? And Wyatt throws Macho back in the ring. What does he have in mind here? Kick caught by the Macho Man in a clothesline. And just when you think the Macho Man's down and out, he comes firing back. There's another one of those beautiful drop kicks. One of the most athletic superstars ever. Do it. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Shot to the back. Oh no, but he's caught by Wyatt. And there's the knee lift. My goodness. And now, come on, ref, he's just choking the man. He's just choking him. And oh no, not another one of these, not another one of these. Macho Man's spine can only take so much after that vicious suplex on the apron. 
but he's still climbing to his feet, and he snaps off another flying neckbreaker. Where is Macho Man finding this energy? And there's a nasty knee drop, and the cover now. And he gets a two count on Bray Wyatt. Macho Man not as far behind as it may seem. Oh my goodness. And oh no, a big back body drop sends a Macho Man flying. And now Bray Wyatt stomping a mud hole and proceeding to walk it dry. But Macho Man slips out the back with the side rush and leg sweep. And drops a short elbow. And Bray Wyatt back up to his feet, knocked back down by Macho Man. And Macho Man trying to slowly wear down Bray Wyatt, but the only problem is Bray Wyatt isn't trying to slowly uh, wear down Macho Man. He's taking big chunks. But this might help Macho taking out one of the wheels of the monstrous Bray Wyatt. Oh my goodness, STO. Trip and clothesline combination ruins the Macho Man. And oh no, looks like Bray Wyatt has Macho Man in his sights one more time. Locks him in. And drives him face first with the sister Abigail. And there's the cover by Wyatt now. And it's all over. Macho Man defeated by the monstrous Bray Wyatt. Let's take a look here. Macho Man taken high into the air and driven down with the standing Yurinagi. I thought that might have been it for Macho after that devastating maneuver. And then we see the first one here. Bray Wyatt hooks him up and drives him down with Sister Abigail's kiss. And the very, uh, very lucky for the Macho Man that he got his hand near the rope. Poor ring positioning by Wyatt helped him out there. Macho Man tried to get the job done, but Wyatt hang hung on. And then we've seen it one more time. Hooked up and driven down. Bray Wyatt picks up a huge, huge victory over the legendary Macho Man, Randy Savage, right here on Raw. And what in the hell does the Macho Man have in store to try to combat the Wyatt family? Will this be the end of the Macho Man's road? Will he give up again in this fight against the Wyatt family? I don't think it's really in Macho Man's nature. But I don't really see much of a choice after this crushing defeat here on Raw. And now the Divas Championship is on the line. Summer Rae cashing in her title match against AJ Lee. And AJ's had a hell of a run since winning the title back in October. Finally wrestling that title from the death grip uh, that Bella Twins had on it. And uh, a uh, AJ actually defended the title against Summer Rae back at Survivor Series. But Summer Rae, to her credit, fought her way back up the ranks and earned another championship match. And a bit of a change of pace here for Summer Rae in this title matchup. She's actually going to have uh, the man she manages, Fondango, at ringside. In an attempt, I would guess, to try to distract AJ in some way, shape, or form during the matchup. And considering S Summer Rae came up short of Survivor Series, I suppose, while it's not, uh, it might not be the right thing to do, when you want to win a championship, I guess uh, all bets are off. And Summer Rae is certainly trying to become the new Divas Champion. The silver and pink is on the line as Summer Rae tries to wrestle the title from AJ Lee. What a matchup! This should be right here on Raw. There's the bell to see two lovely ladies lock up. And AJ Lee goes to the waist lock here. Takes Summer down. Maintains control of the waist lock here. Summer Ray bridges her way up, reverses the waist lock. Good, uh, great wrestling by Summer Ray. 
And a great reversal by the champion. Snap Mayor right into the chin lock now. Summer A works her way up. Arm drags Summer uh, arm drags AJ over and traps a headlock of her own. And now AJ reverses back into a side headlock. Great chain wrestling by these two women to kick off this championship matchup here on Raw. And Summer quickly takes AJ to the corner, but AJ fights her way out with the knee to the gut. And look at that clothesline in the corner. Summer Rae has no idea where she is after that one. But she knows right where AJ's foot is, right in her back with that vicious kick. And AJ hits one of her favorites, the running bulldog. And back to back with the flip neck breaker. And you gotta think AJ getting Summer set up for either that running knee shot to the head or the Black Widow submission. Jawbreaker by AJ takes Summer down. Backbreaker. Leg sweep combination and AJ is rolling. And there's another nasty shot to the back. Oh, and Summer Rae has had enough of the wrestling and just puts two boots in the face of AJ Lee. This is quickly breaking down into a fight here. Look at this, another step up kick right into the face. And AJ Lee tries to take back control, snaps off that hurricanrana. But there's a flying mare by Summer to take the champion back down. And Summer A's got to be careful not to become too cocky here. There's a vicious slap. And AJ trying to take away that kicking ability. Wait a minute, AJ hits the Asai DDT. But doesn't hold for the cover, but there she goes. And only a two count on Summer. Now the Asai DDT is one of AJ's favorite finishers. And there's the Black Widow submission. Could it already be over for Summer here? Summer Ray trying to hang on. And she does. AJ can't feel too great about that. She already busted out one of her most dangerous weapons. Possibly a little too early here. And Summer Ray battles back with a suplex. And AJ goes back to the running bulldog. Looks like it does a lot of damage to Summer. And look at this Luthes press. Summer Ray raining down punches onto AJ Lee. Dragon Screw Leg Whip. That'll certainly take away the Ray of Light uh, spin and heel kick that Summer Ray loves to use if AJ keeps up that type of damage. And oh no, Summer catches AJ while she's climbing the buckle. And could this be the window for Summer Ray to become the new Divas Champion? And Summer up top, but changes her mind once you see AJ climbing the ropes. Look at that flying bulldog by AJ. Devastating maneuver. And is this enough? Oh, very close. And AJ gets the kick on the gut to Summer Ray. But there's a big kick in the head by Summer. Takes AJ down. And oh my goodness, AJ face first into the man. And 
that huge body slam. And Summer now into the cover, forearm into the face, and she almost becomes the Divas Champion. What a great championship match here on Raw between these two. Blocked by AJ, and she answers back with a huge left hand. And will the third time be the charm here? The headlock bulldog. But she's not waiting. She picks Summer right back up. One more time with the Acai DDT. And AJ Lee retains the Divas Championship. What a great title match. And it's too bad for Summer Rae that Fandango being on the outside did not pay off. Let's take a look at how it went down here. Black Widow didn't get the job done. Huge body slam did not get the job done for Summer. But it was very close. And then uh, AJ Lee, some of course call it the slice bread, some call it the SIE DDT. I call it successful for the current Divas Champion, AJ Lee, as she retains the title over Summer. And look at this. A surprising show of respect. Summer Raid, not always the most respectful competitor, but has to give it up to the champion for that amazing contest. Last week here on Raw, the United States Champion Seth Rollins lost a hard-fought match to Curtis Axel. But now, Stone Cold Steve Austin takes that same shot against Curtis Axel. Can Stone Cold do what the United States Champion couldn't and shut down the Axeman? We'll find out in moments. And that Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin has a United States Championship matchup coming with Seth Rollins. Can he buck the authority one more time? Can he go old school and shut down the boss's new uh, face of the company? We'll find out very shortly at the Royal Rumble as Stone Cold Steve Austin goes one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins for the United States Championship this Saturday live right here on Twitch. Curtis Axel been on a roll as of late, doing very well with his tag team partner, Batista, as a part of the Mega Stars. They are going to the finals of the Tag Team Contenders Tournament on main event. And last week, Curtis Axel picked up an ax absolute, uh, shall we say, an absolutely huge victory over the United States Champion, Seth Rollins. Well, tonight, he steps it up one more level as he takes on Hall of Fame legend, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And look who's, uh, look who's coming to watch this match at ringside. It is the United States Champion, Seth Rollins. And he's keeping a close eye on this one. And there's the battle of Austin and Axel lock up here. Austin takes down Axel. Axel now turns it around on Austin and takes Austin down. Right hand sends Austin reeling, but Austin back body drops Axel off the ropes. And there it is, the true stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. I guess it wasn't dry enough. there by Axel. There's a nasty knee, Rocks Austin. And Curtis Axel doing very well here. Axel really has stepped up his game over recent months. And look at that float over DDT. Taste don't go down to the mat. 
And now I don't know if this will actually get Austin to submit, but it'll certainly wear down the rattlesnake, putting all that pressure on the arms and spine. Oh, and the Axe Man gets chopped down by Stone Cold. Austin now goes for the cover. And wow, only a one count on Axel. But a big red hand by Stone Cold puts Axel on the ropes here. And Austin goes old school with the stun gun. And there's the Luthez press with those piston-like right hands that Stone Cold is rolling in now. There's the cover on Axel. And no, it's not enough to get the job done. And Axel sends Austin over the top to the outside. And Austin fights his way back in. And again, Axel sends him to the outside. And this time, look at this. Neckbreaker from the second rope. Great maneuver by Curtis Axel there. And what another, what a back-to-back -back victory it would be for Axel to defeat the United States Champion and Stone Cold Steve Austin in consecutive weeks. And there's Kurt's Axel spinning neck breaker and he only gets a one on Austin. And there's the axe grinder. Curtis Axel with back to back neck breaker maneuvers. Will this be enough to put Austin away? And it is, oh my goodness, Curtis Axel has shot up the ranks and has to be considered a top contender to the United States Championship now. Let's take a look at how it went down, my goodness. You see Austin hit the suplex, and we thought that might have been it, but he only got the one. And then we saw the Luthez press with Knuckles, and we thought that it might have been enough. Another legendary maneuver by Stone Cold. But then, Curtis Axel hits the first spin and out neck breaker, and we thought that might have been it, but Austin survived. But then, once Curtis Axel hit the axe grinder, it was all done. Stone Cold Steve Austin turned over for the cover, the count, and the victory for Curtis Axel. And this definitely throws a wrench in everybody's plans. Nobody expected the sudden rise of Curtis Axel. What an amazing episode of Raw and shocking revelations. Tune in this Wednesday as top contender The Undertaker teams with his, WrestleMania, uh, his uh, Royal Rumble opponent John Cena in for tag team action, as well as the finals of the tag team tournament as Curtis Axel teams with Batista to take on Triple H and the Big Show. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.